Hi guys, Kai here, and today I'm going to be doing just some training on the Kerbal Space Program game uh, on Steam. It's been out quite a while now, but it's the first time, well, I bought it, what, a week ago, and I've been playing it a little bit, so I want to do the training. I've not done the training properly yet, so I want to do through all, th all four of these. The first one up is Construction Basics, so let's click that. This tutorial presented by famous rocket scientist... Werner, yeah, what whoever it is, is covers the basics of rocket construction in the vehicle assembly building. He's waiting for you down there and is always in high demand. Don't delay. All right, don't dally. Oh, don't dally. All right, start. Let's see how we get on. As I said, I have played it a little bit, and I failed on mostly everything I've done so far. So. Let's see what this guy needs to say. Vessel construction. Welcome to today's lecture on vessel construction. If you want to put a satellite into orbit, fly a transcontinental flight, or step onto the very surface of the moon, the moon, the moon, you're going to need to build yourself a ship. It should be very easy, even if you're not a famous rocket scientist like myself. Okay, next. Oh, he's making a funny noise at me. Hello. Scientist glasses on. First part required in any vessel construction is a command module. This part will either contain a plucky cable crew or an automated pilot mechanism. Select a command module from the parts list. So we've got a cockpit and we've got a command part. There we go. Interesting choice. Not what I would have picked, but all but after all, you are not a famous cable rocket so Yes, get on with it. If you if you ever need to move the vessel around, I just did that. Right. Next thing we need is some fuel to burn. Select one of the fuel tanks on the left. Click once. Right. Which one shall we have? Let's have the big one. There we go. What's that one called? Right. It's not gonna let me see. Anyway, not too bad. You might just be getting the hang of this. Thank you. Oh, we've got some rockets now. Now let's add a rocket to the ship. This creates a jet of high energy gas which pushes the vessel along. Select one from the list. Right, I've got 50 max thrush, thrust. Thrush? Who's got thrush? <laughs> Not me. Right. That one's got the max thrust. That one's got 200. And that one's got 50. Shall we just... Let's just take that one. And I'll put that one on the bottom of there. Mm. Looking good. You remind me of a younger, less experienced consumer with less famous version of myself. Next. Radial attachments. Some parts are designed to be attached to the surfaces of others. These allow you to build intricate radial structures and attach ever more rockets. Next. Now attach some radial parts, radial parts to the vessel. You can use the two large buttons and the bottom left of the screen, these ones down here, to control how the editor duplicates and Okay. Interesting looking ship, let's hope it goes better. It looks. If you want to see, do we need them on then? Do we need them on? Let's just click that. Where do I put these? I just put them there or... I don't know where to put them. I don't know where to put them, just put them there I guess. I have no idea where they're supposed to go. If you want to see its weight, lift and thrust distribution, you can use the three small buttons in the lower left. So that's them, is it? So what's that one? Center of mass, uh, center of lift. It's not showing that. And what's that one? Center of thrust. Yes, as we know, that's... So where's the center? It's probably got no lift. Anyway, right. Last but not least, make sure you assign a name to your vessel by selecting the name box and then saving it. So what shall we call this one? Let's just call it Tutorial Craft. There you go. Simple. And save. Next. Ready to rock. Wow, look at everything you can unlock. Looks like our time is almost all. I have to go give yet another a science briefing to the world's media. I'll unlock the rest of the parts and features for you to play with. You can hit the launch button when you're ready to fly. Aim for the stars, my friend. Aim for the stars. Wow. And you've unlocked everything for me. Well, I don't know. What shall I? 
What shall I add? I know I need a parachute. Where's a parachute? I need a parachute. Wow, there's so much unlocked here. I'm just going to use the basic parachute. Just because I know how to use that one, that's why. And. So I'll just use this as my basic one. I think I will. I don't want to go out into a bit. I don't think this will reach that far. But we just want to come down safely. And we also need. There we go. We'll stick one of them on as well. Oh, we've got two. We'll have two. Who cares? Is that it? Actually. Uh, where is the decoupler thing? Is it construction? Oh, there, there it is. No, that's not it. Oh my god, I have no idea where anything is. I'm so used to start this game. I'm such a noob. There we go. I found it. And then, let me just check my... So that needs to go first. They need to go together. What's cracking off? Right, so we'll have the rocket going first. And whatever they do, I have no idea. What are these? I don't know. Anyway, and then we have that going. And then finally, we'll have the parachute to save my little guy in there who let's see who is in there Jebediah Kerman so Jebediah Kerman's in there right now and let's save that and let's go to launch is everything ready I think so right the launch again I'm not the best at controlling these things at the best of times so we'll see how this one goes and it's shift to thrust so we'll put thrust all the way up and then stage one and we're up in the air here we go we are up in the air I'm not sure how far we're gonna go our fuel is down here next to stage three we'll see how far we can get Oh, oh, I've got to try and keep control of this thing. Come on. Oh, we're nearly losing it. We're nearly losing it. Oh, my God. No. Stay up. Please stay up. Please stay up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's happening? Quit. Just stay like that. Stay like that. Please stay like that. There you go. Stay like that. No, 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 no. Stay, stay, oh, it's, it's a tragedy, we're going to die, we are going to die, it's so hard to control for me, I have no idea why, no, no, oh, there we go, well, I think that's as high as we're going to get in, whatever they do, there you go, that's gone, let's get rid of it. So we do a crew report. I'm not going to get nothing from it, so let's just press M and have a quick look at where we're going to be landing. We're going to be landing in the sea. Oh, shit. Oh, we're not at our highest point just yet. 30 seconds will be at our highest point. Where am I? Here we are. And there's Jebediah. He looks alright right now, doesn't he? Oh, 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 I don't want to spit it. Oh, shit. Sorry, Jebed. Oh. <laughs> He's going to be sick. He's going to be sick. I can't control this thing. Just stop. Oh, my God. We nearly had it there. We nearly... Oh, my God. He's going to hate me. There you go. It's slowing down. There we go. Sorry, Jebediah. You're looking all right. You're looking all right, mate. You're looking okay. Right. Wow, we're coming down now. We've we've gone through our highest point. That's where our debris is. Our tutorial craft debris. What's that over there? Some more debris over there. That must be. 
I was thinking, is, is there another one around here somewhere? There's two of them that flew off. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, you can see the Milky Way. The sun up there. Nice silhouette of my craft. The moon, or the mon. The mon. Oh, look, we're coming down fast now. Let's just press M real quick. Yeah. We're coming down, as you can see. How long before we hit there? And there? 30 seconds. So we need to deploy our parachute soon. Is that a. Looks like a, an airfield down there of some sort. That's still falling, it's going to hit the floor before we do. Let's have a quick look. Coming down fast now. 19 seconds. I think I should deploy my parachute. I'm going to do around 6 kilometers. I have no idea what the rules are for all this stuff. I'm a big noob when it comes to all this. So it's going to be a learning process. I'm going to be doing series, well, episodes and hopefully series, series to the moon and wherever else. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube already and I really enjoyed them. So I thought I'd give it a try myself, even though I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. So you're going to have to help me along the way, guys, if you will. I'm going to do the tutorials first, though, first four series first four episodes are just going to be the tutorial ones and then we'll see see if we can start the career mode from there this parachute we're nearly in the water is the parachute going to open about 400 meters 500 meters there we go and it we're going to get a, a nice slow landing in the water and Jebediah is going to be safe so we'll hit the water and then I'm going to end the first episode of my Kerbal, Kerbal, Kerbal tutorials. Can we do anything here? No. Gotta get no signs. I think it's because it's tutorial. I don't know. But we're nearly at the floor now. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Oh, we can't time warp in this scenario. Never mind. Not long to go, just under 200 meters before we hit that water. And Jebediah survives, and then we'll just have to uh, retrieve a little command pod. 90 meters, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Let's just zoom out. You can see the nice yellow and white parachute, which has saved our lives. Here we go. Ready for impact, 10 meters, splash, and we're safe, Jebediah is safe, he's looking happy, there we go, he's smiling, and we'll recover that vessel, and that's that, so, thanks for watching guys, and I will do the next part of the tutorial in the next episode, peace.